Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna do Battles Only Challenge. This challenge was inspired by a great YouTuber called Vect. I enjoyed his content so much I decided to start my own series. So what are the goal of this series? Uh, the goal is to reach 10,000 Barrows chests. All experience is gained in Barrows and all money is obtained in Barrows as well. So what are we waiting for? Let's head into the challenge. Alright guys, so first of all, we needed to finish the tutorial island. After we finish the tutorial island, uh, the NPC gonna send us to the mainland and finally we can begin our journey. So right now, we're gonna head straight to Grand Exchange to sell everything we got from tutorial island. At the same time, we're gonna transfer some necessity items for request completion from a main account and we're gonna transfer a bond as well. So when we transfer the bond, and we're accessing the members world, we're gonna head straight to the quest, we're gonna trade some items from the main account for the quest uh, completion, so we can start our barrels only challenge. This is gonna be the only exception when we're unable to get the items from other sources than barrels. So we're gonna head straight to the king and we're gonna talk about the quest. After we stop talking with the king, we're gonna go to the temple and in the temple the dude gonna say that we need to kill a dog. We were laughing and we were shady but we still fell for it and we decided to go for it at either way. Alright, so as you can see the dog was pretty hard to kill. It took a while actually to kill him. Uh, it was pretty difficult. I didn't get the poison. Uh, I didn't know what to do and then I realized that I can just let him attack me and that's it. He's gonna die. Another issue that we dealt with is the killing the monk, right? The problem was that he was really tanky and we couldn't kill him because our recalls wasn't enough, so I needed to go back, head back to the Grand Exchange, buy a few recalls, buy meat pies, by the way that's a really great idea by Ben, and I'm gonna use it, right? So meat pies, what do we do? So basically each pie you eat, you make a profit. So it's basically a food that is for free. And then what we need to do is save the monk from the cell. So we went to swap the keys, uh, we saved the monk and now we need to bring pure essence to the monk. And after we bring the pure essence, uh, we are gonna go head back to the G. We found some random dude and we decided to give the items to him for the purpose of this challenge. So all we had to do like find any guy just start giving any uh, money for free and we're gonna trade the money to the random guy that trades us first. So we gave away 6000 and right now we have 0 gold coins. So we're gonna head straight to the barrels from the spawn point. The problem was I didn't know about the boat until later on so you're gonna see what's gonna happen. It was kinda painful to be honest but we went through it. So what happened? First of all I didn't realize that I need to talk about a monk so I can go through the gates So then I talked to him, he gave me some pies and stuff, I decided to drop it. That was really smart move by me, am I right? Because we are staying to the challenge and then I was too health, I decided to AFK in the corner so I don't die but the gas still got me and I died. So I already died once from the gas, I'm running back without any food or anything again. And guess what happens again after this long journey all the way back to the spot that we died. I tried to run from the slay nails. I went AFK for a little bit uh, to regenerate health. And then can you imagine? Some uh, thing came and killed me. I think it was a zombie or a gasp or that little green thing that spawns from the ground. Uh, so it killed me and then I had to run all the way back to there and it was kind of awkward to be honest because I died quite a little bit. I didn't realize that there's a boat that goes straight to the barrels because I always use the barrels teleport so it was really painful on my main account. So yeah like as you can see here I was running through the snails again and I died again. And I was cursing the snails, like why, why OSRS would do this, why would developers put some random snails in these tunnels. 
why I can't access through them. And then after I died like five more times, uh, you're gonna see in these clips right here, I'm gonna head all the way back and I'm gonna die again from the snails. And even when I bypassed the snails, I still died. And I died so many times that it was just painful and we traveled again back and we died again from the snails. And after we actually bypassed the snails, we still died. So, uh, right then, I'll, I realized that there is a boat, right? And you can actually take the boat instead of uh, running there and you're gonna be actually safe. So, what happened? I was like, okay, nice, we can take the boat right now, right? And we actually survived and everything was great, right? So that was pretty, pretty painful to be honest because I died so many times. I wasted like right here. You could see like one hour, 30, 53 minutes until I realized that there's a boat. So the journey started really tough. And then we finally reached the Holy Land, the Spades. Right here, we tried to world hop, but the problem was at this moment, when I'm recording the video, there is a limitation of how many times you can hop the worlds. And after 4 hours of straight hopping the worlds, you're gonna be timed out for 4 hours and that's gonna delay so much time. So what I had to do is stay over here and just literally just stand and collect the spades for like half an hour. You can see uh, there's a timer in the corner. Uh, I died so many times by the way over here, but like reached the spades and finally realized that we can actually take a boat, so that's something as well. And right here, as you can see, there was like 15 minutes and look how much uh, the timer on the left corner, right? And look how long it takes for us to get entire inventory of spades. So after we get full inventory of spades, I need to run all the way back to the Grand Exchange. By the way, it took like 11 minutes to get full inventory of spades. And finally, I know that we can actually take the freaking... Oh shit, I took the Baron's... <laughs> oh my god, I was so frustrated that instead of running back, I decided just to teleport back. <laughs> because I was so irritated by it, I decided just to teleport back and collect the spades. I didn't want to waste a single second more running there. I died so many times running out here, so I mean, understandable why I was frustrated. So right here we spent like another 20 minutes collecting the spades, uh, and then we bought some mine runes, and then we actually decided to run all the way back and took the boat again, and then the moment we went back and we took the boat, a cur a, oh my god, a, a Barrow's boss spawns on the first tunnel and one-shots us. We don't have any other way just to run back and repeat the process because we died and we have to go through all of this again. And the next boss that we summon one-shots me again and I'm again at Alum Bridge struggling, running back all the way to the barrels. So that sucked so much and that was so painful, but I hope that later on it's gonna get better and everything gonna be okay. So after struggling so much, we need to run all the way back, take the boat and travel back to collect our stuff. The next tunnel was uh, Darax and yes, as you could predict that we died to the Daraks, I went to a church and I prayed for my soul that I don't die again the next tunnel. And can you imagine, after running all the way back, we collected our stuff after the death, we went to the Arim's tunnel, and the tunnel was free. We could actually enter the tunnel. I was so happy, after so much struggles, finally we can enter the tunnel finally we can start getting xp for the next episode we're gonna aim to get our magic level up around 40s and then we're gonna aim for other skills but 
that's about it for this episode. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and have a nice day.